Uh, last race then before the first of well the first race of four in a row. Well, the first weekend of four in a row. We have a two week break after this. Um so uh yeah, will be action to come. But we have a sprint race on our hands as we uh wait for I think that's one of the tridents coming to line up on this sort of rando. We uh will wait for the five red lights to come on ahead of us as we have the customary break for people loading into the session. As we wait for the five red lights to come on and here they come then five lights ahead of the drivers for F2 sprint race and they are out and we are underway and it looks like Sim has got a fairly decent start and down into turn one as the camera angles are pretty bad Sim has a little nose and it's all over the curb and Nicky stays ahead looks like McEwen's going to try and try and chance his hand around the outside and he's going to squeeze uh, McEwen to the the inside or the outside and then that's going to allow his teammate of Beast to try and go around the outside they're going to go side by side down this curved straight as uh, I don't think there's many incidents in the background but McEwen does stay ahead and he's in P3 and Nicky does keep his position as uh, Panther and Rando going side by side at the background Panther goes right around the outside can he make it stick a little bit of contact wheel banging Panther's going to go quite wide onto the curb but he does make it stick Rando chucks it back down the inside as I Callum and check this out going at it ahead as well. So side by side action. Baggy fan is round at the back. There's a uh, Prima off of I Callum. He's gone straight on. Uh, not quite sure what happened there. Look like he just broken a straight line. Jam has going to make a position if I can find it. That's a good move there. Uh, it is. Oh. As uh, looks like Wiggy is in the walls. He's understeered. Oh, he's going to stick down the inside of his scopes on Bennett. And uh, so is Race Roller down the inside, and Wiggy and Owen are going side by side in the background. And Summoners is trying to make the move as well on the boat on the pair of them as there's battling up ahead by the looks of it as well. As uh, Nikki stays ahead, and McEwen and Beast side by side once again. It's action all over the track, Maxwell, and it's just hard to keep up with. Yeah, I was on the, on the start with Ham Jam. I felt with the, the softer tyres, it'd be interesting to see the launch. Uh, both him and Zydrad got very good starts. Uh, Zydrad actually was in a position where it was such a good start that it was compromised a little bit by Bennett just uh, because of the superior launch. Managed to get ahead of him before the, the, the long wavy section. Uh, and yeah, it's just a case after that for the likes of uh, Jamham just struggling to get by cars apart from that move at the end there. Uh, we'll get Zy with a move potential on Darnell. Just unlucky. Looks like he's. Yeah, oh, Darnell's having a little poke down the inside. It's going to probably ruin his line. There's three cars, four cars in the space of nothing um, as I think Rando's had an off as uh, he's uh, uh, in the wall down sector two. Side by side between Darnell and Zydrad they're going hammer and tongue. This is what we missed from the feature. It's all a little bit of contact. Wheels connected there and that's allowed Jamham to s sliver his Good way on the outside. Yeah, and, uh, sure. in, yeah, exactly. Could easily smash into the back of Zydrad with the little bit of contact. I think Beast and uh, Sem are going to go at it. Uh, so there's side by side action everywhere. We'll look at on board. I oh, know that's the time and screen's messing up. My bad. And uh, the jam is going to go up the inside of Darnell on the soft compound tyres and is up into P6. Further back, we have Scopes and Race Roller going at it. Is Race Roller going to have a look for a move? It's going to struggle to go for a move there. As uh, well, the Premiers have had a difficult start as uh, Rando is also in the pits as well. Oh, hectic, that's for sure. Uh, so many battles there, and a, a few instances where I think certain lines maybe compromised other drivers, so you were getting more people joining battles. So I think there was one instance, uh, I think it was the start of Sector 2, possibly end of Sector 2, where the line compromised was um, Jam. Was it Jam? I think it was Jam had like a good move on Darnell already, or Zydra, sorry, but it was Darnell that completely compromised it just with the line he had taken. So it's it's led to a lot of close racing, but uh, yeah, <laughs> a long way to go in this one. A long way to go indeed. Um, it's going to be fairly quick, but as uh, I think Baggy Fan is off again down in sector two, he's having a 
difficult time in the F2 cars at the moment. Nicky sets another fastest lap and he is 1.6 seconds clear as McEwen has a little nose. Oh, that's very deep from Ham Jam in the ART. Almost into the back of uh, McEwen there as there's fights in the background. Scopes and Race Roller. Summoner's a little wiggy. Looks like Summoner's made the move up into P12. Can he snatch a point from the back of the grid? That'll be interesting to see. zydra has got a run on Zarnel by the looks of it, um, but he might have to back out here. It's going to be hard to go side by side through here. And yeah, he does back off a little bit and uh, has to live and fight another day behind him for now. And uh, stays in P8. As, uh, this train is coming, a train for P2 is, uh, well, Nicky has definitely got the pace at the moment. You can certainly see it certain parts of Sector 1 and Sector 2 there. There's some of the drivers that are a bit more confident than others at certain braking points. And it is leading, as I say, a, a few a few moments when that train gets closer and closer. A few guys are compromising other lines and a few are having to make late avoiding action to ensure they keep their, their front line. Yeah, I mean, Zydra's just watching on, really. There's not much he can do. He's kind of hoping that people go side by side and maybe he can pick up the scraps. Ham Jam is the closest. They're going for a move here. I can't speak into the pit lane. He's going to retire from the session in the pits. There's going to be a lap down already. Is Ham going to go for the move down the inside? He's close enough. He's going to go for the move. It's going to be very tight indeed. Still side by side. And he's going to have the inside line for this uh, turn three, which turns to the outside of turn four. And it's still side by side as Darnell's having a little nose up the inside of Jam Am at the same time. Ham's all over the place on the exit. They're pushing and pushing. And he just can't get ahead at the moment. And he's so close. He's going to switch to the inside. Will he go for a nose down the inside? Surely not. I know he thinks better of it. But Jam is going to be right on the back of him as well. So he might have a little look. And they're still somehow staying all in the same positions. And uh, wow, it's great racing at the moment. And you just think that <laughs> someone's going to go for a move and they just hold on and it's brilliant defence from uh, the Ceruse driver of McEwen it's uh, Nicky 2.2 seconds clear, Sem clear of Beast at the moment, Ham is gaining again down towards his chicane is he going to go for a move, a little bit of a late lunge gets Ooh. a big, bit of a squeeze oh that's going to be close oh and he's lost it and he's going to let his brother go, I mean he's got a run and uh, he has to stay behind and well, I don't know if the move was really on there, Maxwell. It's one of the places as well. I'm feeling like for like a split second you can be on the attacking, blinking, and you're on the defence from someone else. And especially there, Jam just had to be patient. Obviously, was, would have been getting a bit frustrated. Where obviously the the best life of those soft tyres would have been out the window by now, and then finally an opportunity opens up there. But just he yeah, actually was a wee bit scared in case. That spin ended up taking a few cars with them, given how close they are for that, uh, well, not the top eight, but second to eight for anyway. But, uh, so far, yeah. no technical DNFs. All good so far. No, there isn't. I think there's going to be action to come. Original, um, I mean, there's a battle for P9, which is, well, for no points, but this seems to be hotting up. And I think uh, unless someone, uh, if someone uh, does DNF from this front pack, it's going to be... It's going to be uh, a fight for the points. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah, battle for second is pretty much just don't get a penalty. That's, that's basically oh. just into the last seven laps. Yeah, penalty, that's you out the point. Basically, all your points are basically gone, really. <laughs> anything can happen, really. Yeah, yeah anything can happen. Nicky is miles ahead. Um, so, I, I, unless he makes a mistake and he'll. Well, he won't want to, and he'll be pretty upset. I think uh, B, though, it's in battle for P2, is getting hot and up. I think battle for P4 uh, in the background as well. As uh, Jam sets the fastest lap, B is down the inside, and it's, uh, well, one is attacking, one is defending. Sim goes very wide. As a, we noticed that a lot in the, mm, in the feature race. It's, oh, there's a crash in the background. I didn't quite catch that because the uh, advertising board was in the way. And as I said, the be a battle for the points and the battle for P9 is turned for a battle of P8 now so Scopes has now got one point to his name I'm not quite sure what happened because the advertising board was right in the way of that as uh, Southerners has made a couple of moves here as I think Bennett has had a bit of a moment and uh, he's got past Little Wiggy as well and, and Southerners up into P10 from the back of the grid I'm going to quickly go on board with Jam and he's making a move down the inside just caught in the middle of that as he's going to go right round the outside of McEwen. He's going to struggle as he's got a car of Sim right ahead of him. 
He's going to get forced a long way around. He's going to try and sneak a toe from the other driver. I think he's going to get it. He's going to hold it down the inside. Is he? Gonna, oh, as uh, McEwen breaks a lot later and uh, does the job. But this is good. Well, good for the championship, really, for Zydrad, where he's coming from, because he's going to be uh, taking the most points at the moment with Ham all the way down in P14 and effectively out of the running for anything. I'd be interested to get a perspective of that, as I say, like yourself, we pretty much were distracted by the advertising boards of the same, was really wide again, yeah. Oh, I was just going to cut you off there, sorry, mm -hmm. and Sam's gone for a switchback, he's going to get down the inside, oh, there's a bit of contact and I was worried he was being in the wall, Rando's had about 5 second time point for illegal blocking, I'm not quite sure how he's done that, um, but that's uh, interesting, um, so that's a, a new one for me. Um, but he is a long way back, and uh, oh, I think as a ham jam retires in the pit lane, so that's him out. And yeah, he was going to struggle to get anywhere near at all. Is uh, it's going to be interesting. This race for the one singular point is going to race roll at the moment, um, and they've been battling quite a lot of back there, race roll and scopes. And Summoners is going to try and uh, get up as he's had showed pace, um, and obviously had an unfortunate. Um, start to the uh, fortunate start to the feature races. That's a car off. Our oh, baggy fan has spun round once again, and he has had a nightmare. And it's as baggy fan spins. Looks like uh, Panther has spun. Uh, yes, he has. So there you go. I'm going to quickly go back on board with McEwen though, and he looks like he's going to make a move for the podium uh, down the inside, and does. That's him up into P3 onto the podium. It's a double podium at the moment for Cherus, and hopefully they can keep it there. As uh, well, Beast seems to be going off into the distance. I'm going to go back on board with the battle for P8. The scopes and race rider going at it again, and uh, well, this has been they're going hammer and tong. Race rider right around the outside, and he's going to do off that baggy fan retires from the race as, as well. As uh, this is going to get pretty tasty down into the uh, downy right hand. Oh, bit of contact. Scopes is onto the grass. Panthers retired from the session in the pit lane as well. Is someone who's going to have a little nose down the inside? He's going to have a little look, but it's not going to be... Uh, he's going to think better of it and uh, stay P10. I thought Scopes is going to be, be heading to the barriers there, Maxwell. Yeah, just looking... As Jamman makes the move. I was going to say, I thought with a few there. I was like, I'm surprised he's made the tyres last so long, but never mind that. The fact he's actually attacking Sam and... Oh, there's a oh. bit of contact there. I think it was completely different. Breaking jam manages to make the move. Like Sam's oh, spun. No, oh, and that's no. also to Sam and Darnell oh. are off. And Zydrad was probably breathing a sigh of relief as a safety car as well. Oh wow! I mean, Zydrad is probably happy that he didn't get collected there, but. Darnell has just had. Oh, that is so unlucky. I don't know if there was contact or Sam just lost it. Um, but it just seems like there was just a coming together. And, uh, yeah, I don't think anything could do. There's, uh, people are in the pit lane and Southerners is going to go on the softs. And, uh, well, I mean, safety cars come out quite late. And uh, well, maybe uh, Nicky will probably not be happy about that safety car. Um, but I was going to go over to you, Original. Um, I think you got people going to go on the softs. Um, it's going to be interesting to finish this race. Oh, yeah. De de uh, those in the softs, yeah, they don't have a chance. But, again, it's going to be a very tight window. But again, our Uber overtaking opportunities are very slim around this track, so they're going to have to hope uh, the guys ahead on the medium tires have really dropped off, and they can find the space to make move. How long the safety car will last? Will it be like 11, 12? Or be, yeah, it'll probably be in like lap 12, maybe. But the big, uh, I wasn't well, I saw the angle of the battle to be done. I think there was like a, probably a slight wheel contact uh, that made him uh, spin, but I think it was just probably lost a little on the power going around that corner. But I think it's, it's probably a slight bit of contact like you said. Other than that, I think this helps those guys at the back having a chance, especially Rando anyway. <laughs> see, the one I'm interested to see how he reacts to the the safety car restart is uh, is Jamham. Because those tyres are nine laps old, they're going to be absolutely short. But at the same time, they probably only have to defend for two laps. 
so it's yeah I think safety car is going to be in whatever because it usually comes in for the last two laps there'll be two laps of racing I think uh, yeah that's the limit the game lets it go to um, so I don't know whether Darnell is actually going to catch up uh, at all I think he should do um, I don't know how many people are going to catch up because I think obviously Rando is a lap down uh, on everyone by the looks of it uh, everyone bar Sem, Colden and Czech he's a lap down too so yeah that's uh, not good um, but he's just going to have a bit of fun I suppose and yeah I mean is Czech going to catch are these guys going to catch up it'd be interesting because it's a short lap it's not like it's a Belgium or something where they could easily just catch up quite quickly um, but yeah we'll see uh, I'm, I'm interested to see what uh, Jam can do um, I'm interested to see what Nicky can do now he's been put up under some pressure now um, obviously he sprinted clear away from Sem so he was probably able to relax a little bit um, but I'm, I think uh, once we get to the end of this straight which is where the sector to split time is um, and we'll probably see safety car in this lap as I think it's going to be just about for yep. as a yep there we go I think it's going to be close as check uh, cuts the track in his desperation to get to the back of the pack um, but I mean I think he is going to get there and he's going to be arriving at some pace those guys at the back it'll be interesting to see what uh, these soft guys can do though as uh, Nicky is going to get us underway here and uh, we wait for the safety let the safety car go and uh, looks like he's just coasting round at the moment and he is going I think he is going he's gone early is that two? Oh. He's gone too early. He's gone too early. He has gone too early. So people are going to have to watch out. We're underway though, so it's going to be side by side with Jam and McEwen, and that's helped him out. Um, and uh, Jam's going to go up the inside. McEwen's going to hold it around the outside. He's going to be under pressure from Zydra at the same time. Jam always loses it. Goes opposite lock. Have a look further back as well. As someone is just going to probably have a go around the outside here. By the looks of it, going to swing back and maybe get a good run on Lil Wiggy as I think McEwen is on the back of Jamam as well as Nicky is sprinting clear Southern is, is going to go for a move down here he'll probably think better of that and he does uh, McEwen on the back of Jamham is going to go for a move anywhere he is not it's, it's not really anywhere to go for a move and uh, Nicky 7 tenths clear and that is all he needs to do off that restart Maxwell oh, oh, oh as uh, McEwen has lost lost it on the traction um yeah, um, we 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 did say that it was interesting to see how Jam Ham did on the restart, and I just feel the way Nicky handled that safety car just played perfectly into Jam's hands. He was the quickest to react, and and he made that move pretty quickly on the queue. So it's looking good for him, and he's got one lap to either somehow get ahead of Beast Assassin, but at the same time protect himself from championship rivals Idrad. So all to play for. On the All lap. to play for on to the last lap. Rando has crashed down at the final corner. Uh, Owen was involved in an incident. Sem and Darnell are going at it again. We know what happened last time. Uh, they uh, come together on the same bit of tarmac. It might not have been anyone's fault, but um, it's a lot cleaner than it was this time. Summoners has made his way up into the points from the back of the grid. And, uh, well, he hasn't got long to try and get scopes or anybody else. But he'll, uh, he'll try his best and try his luck as Jamam is going to try his luck on Beast. Or oh, well, he'll try to try to uh, have a go at Beast at some point on this lap. Um, but I don't think he's going to have an opportunity. Nicky is, uh, well, he's pulled away straight away. So uh, what pressure if there was any for him. And uh, he's uh, looks like he's going to do well as there's a car off. And that is Bennett, unfortunately. He's off down in Sector 2. And whether he spun or had contact, I don't know. That's a shame for him. Summoners is right on the back of uh, Scopes here, so I think he's going to go for a move. Is he? No, he thinks better of it. Could be an extra point here on offer. As uh, looks like Owen has gone again, but it's going to be Nicky who, well, from start to finish, has led this sprint race and uh, he was put under pressure. Comes up towards the pit wall and he's going to win the sprint race here in. Uh, Zanvort and uh, that is a commanding victory of him. Beast comes second. Jamham rounds off the podium. Zydrad goes up P4, up to P4 from starting P8. Race Roller stays in there and uh, 
It's P5, McEwen P6, Scotes P7 and Summers from the back of the grid in P8. Rounds off the top eight scoring points finish. Wiggy misses out on the points once again, I think. Oh, no, he got one point last time, actually, so I, I lie. But, yeah, he's just missed out on the points in P9. So I just showed at the end there, even though they had the faster tyres, I was just nowhere to pass. No, Summers gets driver of the day from the game, and we're going to have to give our driver the day. Um, could be anyone, really. Um, I mean, yeah, I'll leave that one to you, boys. No pressure. Uh, so, for myself, just purely because of the strategy, and I felt like it was an absolutely bold decision to make it, uh, I'm going to go with um, Jamham. I mean, all those laps on the softer compounded tyres and to make gains after the safety car restart and maintain the position, I just feel like it's, it's deserving. Although, credible drives, race roller, scopes, southern are all really good claims up. And uh, you could say Beast Assassin as well, going from fifth up to, to second. Yes. Um, We've got to try and tally up the points. Uh, I think Zydra's definitely got the most points. Darnell had 18, but gets zero. Nicky will have... 19, so Nicky will be ahead of that. Um, I have no idea who the top three are. Beast I'm got, pretty Beast sure. Beast is on 24, Octavian and 12 in both races. Beast is on 24. Where did Jam finish? P. I think the top three are Zydrad, Beast, and Nicky, I'm going to say. So we'll invite those three in. Um, I was going to say, who do you think, who is your driver of the day for that uh, uh, original? Ooh, There's yeah. a lot of people you could pick. From, yeah, but. it's <laughs> saying, I want to say Scopes after performing, he got seventh uh, position last season around this track in the, in the sprint race. So he matched his personal best again. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Maxwell's uh, Jam Ham from, from the damage uh, at the very start of the race, hands pit for the softs. Uh, but yeah, Ham's come back from like back of the grid to come finish in the, on the podium. I think, uh, I mean, honourable mention to Southerners, uh, we'll give it to Jamam for the bold bold strategy. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll invite Zydrad. Uh, invite. Uh, invite Zydrad, invite Beast. And invite Nikki. Um, so I will. We'll have. We'll go one one each. If we'll do that, one each. Um, original, you go with Nikki, Maxwell, Beast, and then I'll do Zydrad. Um, once they're in. And they're all in, so take your boxes. You already know that now, but in case, huh? Sorry, was that side Um, uh, no, I think we've calculated that you guys are the top three. I've no idea, um, but I'm pretty sure I Nikki just got ahead of Darnell with that. Um, yeah, that that I mean, we might be wrong, but. Yeah, we might be wrong. I don't know. I think we're, we're going with those three. So, original, you start off with Nikki. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Uh, wow. Nikki. We don't usually see you much in the on the podium finishes, but fantastic week. Oh, well, well, F2 racing from you. You finished on the podium in the first race, and you got the win in the second race. Uh, wow. What's in going in your mind right now? How do you feel? Nikki? Yeah. Nikki, hello. Great stuff. <laughs> Great <laughs> stuff. It comes. <laughs> um, but we'll, like we'll, move we'll move on. We'll move on. Ah, there we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, he's there. <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, let's go, Nikki. Go. Fuck. <laughs> Great stuff. Yeah, obviously, after having COVID, being able to race like this is just unbelievable. I haven't practiced at all, and I'm just speechless at the moment. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, was that safety car at the end? Were, were you feeling, feeling like you were going to struggle at the end there? Well, there was going to be competition from, of course, the uh, the boys in the two teams of uh, Shuri Racing system. 
You feel yeah, like you're going to get a competition? Like fast drivers behind me, I just believe I can do it. I noticed I can pull a cap on some parts of the track and with the I did it. I'm, I'm pretty happy, of course. Oh, yeah, definitely, mate. Brilliant week. Uh, uh, yeah, definitely fantastic for racing from you. And do you feel you're going to be confident going into next week? Oh, the week after now. <laughs> yeah, of course, I think I have a chance. After practicing, of course. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah, I think I can score some points, of course. Yeah, well, well, well that's all for me, man. Brilliant uh, FT racing from you, mate, and uh, I'll carry it to your form on. Yeah, thanks. Uh, on the running, uh, we'll take the second place driver over the course of the weekend, and that was Beast with two fourth place finishes. Uh, first and last, uh, brothers, how did you find uh, both races? Um, yeah, the, the P4 in the first race was a, a tough one. Obviously, the guys ahead are aliens, Joe, uh, Zydred and Ham. So I wasn't expecting to keep up with him. I just knew Jam was going to be coming from somewhere behind me, but I think he got caught up in an incident. So I didn't actually have to worry about him. But yeah, it was pretty comfortable once I got past the likes of Sam, who defended really well. Um, yeah, and then I think you said I came P4 in the sprint. Mm. I came P, P2. P2, apologies, I've got that many graphics in front of me. But P2, but <laughs> That's it's End of the day, as I say, it's even better, so it's a good position for you, it's a podium. Yeah. Well, one thing I want to ask though is, what's going for you remind me you're in these massive trains? Is it like a case of just try and be patient, or is it a wee case of just e yeah. even... Just really sum up, I suppose, I suppose it's, it's easier for you to sum up the, I mean, from an outside perspective. A, a track like Sandvort, it is all about waiting for that mistake of, from the car ahead of you, because just overtaking it like when there's only two of you in the train is almost impossible so doing it when there's five six of you all trained up is it's it's just um like it's just unrealistically hard almost impossible not a problem a uh, final one for me is as i say with a very good weekend uh on the f2 front uh, what's your aims and ambitions then for the f2 season is, it, is there anything in particular you're targeting at all uh driver's championship p4 i want to get get in there ahead of the likes of Joe, Matt, and make sure I slot in behind the three aliens of Zydrad, Ham and Jam. <laughs> I want to be best of the rest, as they call it. And then I want to obviously win the constructors with McEwen. Mm -hmm. Brilliant, man. As I say, it is a case of uh, as more and more time goes on with the, the F2, the more you feel comfortable with it. There's, yeah. there's opportunities there, and it's just a case of uh, taking them, which I feel like you've certainly done tonight. So congratulations, bud, and, and all the best Cheers. for the weekend. Oh, congrats to Nikki as well on the win. Well, over to our race winner, uh, race winner, points, race winner of the sprint race, points, top point scorer, I should say. Um, P4 in the sprint race as well, finally uh, finally having a a good sprint race. Obviously had to avoid Dano and Sem having their collision. Um, I mean, you had you had a lot of pressure from Dano, um before he disconnected, um, which was probably a sigh of relief for you, um, but I think you probably had it covered and then yeah i mean obviously it's nice to see you finally had a had a decent sprint race uh yeah i mean <laughs> every bit of luck that could have happened went my way uh the quali i wasn't feeling too confident in quali uh but then luck has it it started it was raining so um luckily i did a bit of practice just before in the wet in the wet so i was kind of comfortable there luckily got pole and then um kind of once I got pole, the nature of the track, it's really tough to overtake. So straight off the get-go, the track was on my side because on both stints, Darnell was faster than me, but the dirty air and, and just uh, the nature of like the slipstream just doesn't help him at all. It really hinders him on the straights and through the corners. Um, but yeah, other than that, it went near perfect uh, feature race. Unfortunate for Darnell getting a disconnection. But uh, it didn't cost him a podium, luckily, and it still got him second place. Still a good result. And coming into the sprint, my one my one goal was just to not get involved in an incident, and I managed to get that. So I'm happy. Yeah, I mean, obviously, extending extending the championship lead um, due to Ham and Jam having a off off week, um, you could say. Um, yeah, I didn't 
see much of what happened to them, but um, I guess that's always a, a good boost going into another break that you, you've had a decent weekend. Maybe you can build on that. Yeah, I mean, when it came to the Ham and Jam, it looked like they had a really unfortunate quality. Um, Jam did very well to make up for it, uh, getting ninth in the sprint, and then for the sprint, he went for a big gamble and getting him a podium. A mega job from him. Uh, I got really lucky with Ham spinning on the exit of turn one, and uh, I made my most made the most out of it really. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, I guess all we have to say is well done. And, uh, Cheers, appreciate. It. Congrats to the other podium sitters as well. Yes, and uh, well, good luck for next time out. Two weeks, we'll be in Spain. I'll say thank you to Maxwell and thank you to Original for joining me along this. Yeah, very interrupted night of F2. Hopefully we have a smoother time in two weeks in Spain. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, see, or well, we will see you guys in Spain in a couple of weeks' time when F2 returns. Good night.